This is Coco Fave Chanel, and you are tuned in to Takeover TV. You know, because one thing I do when I do interviews, I don't do intros like this is introducing such and mm -hmm. such and other. I just straight to we it. We just roll into it. Right. Just okay. like we've done rolled into it. Mm -hmm. so that, that works. So that's how I do it. Okay. How you been? Good so far. Busy? Superstar? <sighs> Listen. <laughs> <laughs> very, very busy. Very. That's a that's the price of fame. One day, one day I'm gonna get there. Look, I'm, <laughs> right now it's just like trying to just, I don't even know, honestly. Like my mind has been everywhere. Like I'm here with you, yeah, I'm thinking about what I gotta do next and where I gotta go. It's tough, man, I didn't, I did not ask for this. <laughs> Sometimes you don't ask for it. Sometimes you just give it to you. Yeah, definitely. So take me through the whole journey. How did this whole thing start? Well, let me let the audience know exactly what's going on. Okay. So what is it? Two months now? Since uh, two weeks before November, yeah. I mean, before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And you lost well, how, much, how much? 30. How much 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. Which that is a lot of weight. It is. Two months. Yeah. First off, I congratulate you. Thank you. That, that, that is awesome. Yeah. I can't get five pounds off in five <laughs> I couldn't either for a little while. If I, if I quit drinking these daiquiris, it might help. <laughs> oh, I miss daiquiris. We don't have those. You don't need them. Oh, you're right. You, you, you don't right. need them. Stick to it. You're so, right. So let, uh, tell me how this whole process started and what made you decide to lose the weight? Was it something you had to do? Was it something just health wise? Or? So it was kind of like a combination of all of those things. I'm in the Air Force. Um, I just recently got back in after being IRR. Okay. And I had my first PT test after having DJ, who's two, and Ivy, who's one. I know all about that. I'm, I'm retired Air Force, so, so yeah, I well, know all about that PT test. Them PT tests, yes, jerks. No, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, my waist, it just, it was a 39, and I think the girl probably like cheated to kind of help me to try to pass the test. Yeah, but I was just so embarrassed at the size of my waist. Because it has to be what like thirty six. Yeah, uh, you got to add that's, and like that's that. the the for the minimum points. Right. That's for like maybe five or six points, and right. I barely even made that on that waist. So right. it really ruined my PT test like bad. So I noticed that. I couldn't fit the clothes that I was fitting in anymore. And I just kept going up in size and I just wasn't feeling it. My kids noticed. My husband, I feel like he's just, he's just supportive anyway. So he's just like, okay, well, you know, maybe we can do some of this or try to work on that. And then I just wasn't motivated. So I decided one day I was like, okay, I got to change this. Like I can't, I'm at that point, well, I'm 31 and I just, there ain't no reason why I'm supposed to be looking like that. Just wasn't cute. Oh. I understand. So you said 31, still mm -hmm. relatively young, mm -hmm. but you weren't satisfied with the way you was looking. No, and I was having um, heart issues too. Like I would uh, notice that at, I would get winded and my I could feel my heart like having extra palpations. So I'm, I went to the doctor, I went to the emergency room one night cause it was just getting out of hand and they did, um, they did a test on me and they saw that I had some abnormal ryth uh, rhythm with my heart. Yeah. So yeah, that kind of scared me. And I was like, I know it's gotta be from the weight and just my knees were popping all the time. My back was popping all the time. And now since I've lost that weight, I don't have any of those issues like at all. I even would like break out in hives, like from my clothes being too tight. And I don't have those issues anymore since I've lost the weight. Good. good yeah, it good. was. So I used to have to take Benadryl like faithfully because I would have on a bra from all day and I would swear something like, you know, bit me and it would be a line of hives where the bra line goes. It was, it was bad. So. You say, okay, I got to lose this weight. So what was the first thing you did in, in this process? Uh, the first thing I did was make the drink. I always saw Dosa drinking apple cider vinegar. I didn't want to because it stinks. It stinks it does. so bad. And I would like smell his cup. And I'm like, oh, mm -mm. So he drank it for like a year before I even was just like, okay, let me just try it. So I mixed up some stuff in the kitchen and... Um, just some stuff that I already had sitting around and I noticed that it was good. So I was like, okay, I could drink this. Let me just see if it's really gonna work. Cause it's still really sweet. And within a week I had lost six pounds, but 
since I started the drink, I wasn't nearly as hungry. So I was like, well, I'm gonna do some intermittent fasting too. So I was doing the intermittent fasting plus the drink, plus working out from home. And yeah, I lost six pounds in the first week. So I was like, okay, I can do this. So I started noticing a little difference and next week turned into next week. Then Thanksgiving came and I messed up, but I still ended up losing 30 pounds with that drink. Uh, off a drink that you just created. You mm -hmm. just got some ingredients out the kitchen. Absolutely. Where you go with them ingredients? Cause then everybody make this drink. Everybody already got it. That oh, was okay. the other thing. <laughs> like I, I gave it to a few of my friends. I posted one picture and it said, have you had my ACV mix? And it was a picture of me slimmer. And everybody was like, what you drinking? What's in your cup? Like, what is that? Because you look great. Gave it out. Next thing I know, I'm on the news. I'm getting invites to places. It's viral. Yeah, all from that drink. So how, how did it get out there? How, how did you start getting people, viral? People just, just started sharing it. And it went from me seemingly like asking people to try the drink to every morning I woke up, I would have like 60 tags of people with all the ingredients out on the counter drinking my drink. And um, yeah, it just, it took off that way. Is there a name for it? Huh? Is there a name for it? So it's Coco's Little Way Strength. It's super long. I'm working on it. <laughs> but it's catchy. Everybody likes it. And it definitely makes your way smaller. So so now you, your stuff's starting to go viral. People are tagging you. You're getting mm -hmm. a lot of attention. How does how's that adjustment been for you? Because for me, it was a little bit of adjustment trying to reply to emails and your, mm -hmm. your phone study going off from so many different alerts and yeah. people trying to get your attention. How, how's that adjustment been for you versus, you know, your regular life before that? Um, well, I have four kids and I have a husband. <laughs> so trying to answer people back in a timely fashion, people have different schedules. Yeah. My husband has a certain schedule. So it was like still trying. I had to really remember that I still have to be paying attention to my family and trying to help other people. Like I have to find a way to do both. So it was definitely overwhelming at first because I was literally, as soon as somebody inboxed me, I'm, you know, writing them back. Right. Or somebody asked me a question on my um, fitness group, I'm immediately trying to get back with them. I'm calling people to try to give them just any free information I can. And I started really spreading myself thin because I'm in school too. So it was a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know you was doing school too. I'm in school for IT and I'm in the Air Force, but I'm also, I just um, pay out of pocket for personal training and health nutrition. So I'm in two schools. So yeah, I'm pretty busy. Plus the family. Do you still want to pursue IT now that no, you're into this weight loss not. and fitness? I'm honestly only doing it because, I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, once I do decide to do my own business, I'll know the IT aspect also. So I'll be able to start up with my own security systems. I'll be able to do my database and manage my own database. So it's really beneficial for me because I am starting my own business. That way I may not have to pay so much out of pocket for somebody else. I could probably work alongside with somebody else. But the way the fitness is taking off, uh I just don't think I'm going to be the one to do the IT stuff anymore. I wouldn't blame you. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to go in the direction the car is taking you. Right, right. When Definitely. the man upstairs has the wheel, you got to ride. Yeah, that's you try true. try to go against that, you wreck. Yeah, yeah, very true. I agree. So you've been on the news. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Um, I sent it to a few news stations. I sent it to KSLA, KTBS, and KTAL. And I, I called, actually. And KTBS was like, oh, okay. And, you know, they were like, so? Right. Yeah, okay. A drink, cool. And then KTBS was like, they cut me off, like mid sentence. Well, we'll let you know if you're interested. They didn't take my name, they didn't take my number. But they're not interested. They're not interested. Right. KTAL, I actually had a, um, a friend's fiance inbox me and was like, hey, um, I saw your story. I really like it. You should send it to uh, Alexa, Alexis Tucker, who works for KTL. She immediately responded back to me and was like, we need you on the show. So I did Love and Living Local first. And that went really well. It was, a, I think, like a five, well, maybe two or three minute segment. Right. How to make the drink and stuff. And from there, people kept calling into the newsroom asking, like, what's in the drink? What's the ingredients? Who is this girl? How do we get in contact? Because I didn't give any of my contact information. I forgot. So it went from that to the video went viral on their web page. 
And so they asked me to come back to do the news segment, which is why I ended up coming today also. So now I'll be back on the news tonight um, for six, nine, and 10. Congratulations. Thanks. Have you ever thought about, um, I don't know what's the word for it. I guess having a patent for that drink where it's like yours and you got sole ownership for that. Yeah. Well, this could be a big money maker for you, so, especially if it produces results. Yeah, I agree. Um, because I've given it to so many people. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's gone. <laughs> I can't get the patent that I'd like. However, I do have new drinks. And I actually, right before I came here, I was selling my pineapple slice. I sold out. Like I sold that one in Sam's parking lot today. And I sold out in an hour and a half. So that's my drink that I'm going to be actually marketing to. And I won't need a patent because I'm not giving out the recipe. So I just plan on putting it on shelves. That is my goal for 2020, to have my drinks on shelves. Good job. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. So, I mean, how much more weight do you want to lose? Are, are you kind of around your goal? Or are you like, man, I think I'm going to try to keep this going. So the goal was to be 180. Um, the last time I weighed in, I was 197. I weight shifts. You don't That's look a, like it. By the I way. was two thirty. Two, yeah, I was two thirty when I first first started paying attention to my weight. So I don't know how much I've lost. If it's even been more than that, but yeah. But I feel say you don't even look one ninety seven because I'm six feet. <laughs> I feel say you're, but, but, you're, but you're tall I'm too. Six feet, so yeah. yeah. So um, I started getting too small, so I started incorporating weights. So. My leg, I like my legs to be big legs and I'm trying to keep that. So I definitely incorporate ways to, I want to stay in between the 190 and the 205. That's where I want to be. I like my size now, so. Yeah, yeah look good to me. Dang. But, but it, it, it doesn't matter as I don't find out from so many women. It don't matter. Yeah, yeah. it's about with, how the woman with, feels. Yeah, how, how the woman feels. Mm -hmm. that, that's definitely true. So, you ready for the PT test now? Yes, I am. I'm like pumped about it actually. It is next weekend. I'm ready. How you like being in the military? I've been in for 10 years, so I assume that I like it. No, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that don't let, don't let, that don't let, that don't let, that don't let, that don't I just re-enlisted somehow for six years. I honestly don't know what I was thinking about. She said somehow. You know somehow, how. Some, they told me I was going to get the bonus. That's how. Okay. But, and then I didn't. So I'm like, okay, well, let's take my paperwork back. They were like, no, nah, it's too late. So I'm really trying to fight it because I don't think that that's fair. But uh, Not if that was the driving reason that I re-enlisted. The yep. And then you'd be like, oh, uh, no. Nah. Yeah. But I'm like, uh, so you pretty much... Yeah, I mean, I'm a perjury. You lied. Yeah, basically. To get me to do something. I mean, recruiters been doing that since the beginning of the time. And yeah, military, but I'm like, y'all so. already had me. Like, I'm just <laughs> right. You didn't have to lie. About right, it. right. So, but we'll see. I mean, I'm maybe I'm in there for a reason at this point, and I mean, if I finish out this six, I may as well do the twenty. You know, may as well go for it. We'll see. Yeah, I, I was the same way. Mm. I, I was doing like four years at a time. Yeah. Then by the time I got to 12, I like, I might as well finish it on out. Yeah. But once that last year hit, oh, it was time to go. So you did 20? Yeah. Ooh, praise yeah. Lord. Let me tell you, I'm just, I'm going to try. It goes quick. <laughs> yeah, goes I mean, quick. 10 years has gone pretty fast, so. It goes That's quick. That's true. Next time you look around, you be retiring. Yeah. And I won't get a check until I'm like 65, though, because I'm reserved. Yeah, that's, that's the only bad part. I yeah. get mine instantly because I did active duty. See, I got some active duty years, but so it'll knock the time down. But as far as me getting it right when I retire, I doubt it. But I, my focus right now is fitness and how to help people. And that's my biggest thing. I'm having fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So so what's next? More, more um, appearances? Uh, well. You finna start your own fitness show? Yeah. Well, kind of. Well, I wouldn't say show. Um, I do have a few appearances lined up. Um, I'm waiting for some confirmations from California. So I pray that that goes through the way that I California, want it to. Huh? Good Day Sacramento. I got an email from Good Day Sacramento. So I'm supposed to hear, you know, about the details next week. So we'll see. But as far as my fitness, yes, like I got some classes coming up that are going to be pretty dope. Uh, live DJ, all the strobe lights, all of it. It's going to be amazing. 
I can't say much about it right now. But no, I, I just know. You know it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be catered for women who are trying to, you know, get that hourglass shape, and it's gonna be nice. Now I know Dota was the famous person in your family before. Now, Man. now y'all, now y'all competing. <laughs> Not really competing, but really that's well. what I said to him. I was like, "Look, <laughs> I know that you have done acting and comedy, and you know, basically been your own entrepreneur for this whole time." I'm like, "I just don't want you to be mad at me." And he's like, "Why would I be mad at you?" Well, cause I'm booming. <laughs> he'd, be like, he'd be like, girl, you fitness. Like that's completely different. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dude, ride this while you can, you know, and take what you can from it and just keep going. He was like, I don't have no problem being the first man of a, a fitness. Uh, I'm, I'm saying. Woman. So I was like, cool. That works for me. Cause if you booming, then he booming. That's a win for me. Together. So right. hell keep booming. Yes. Because best believe my, I really want, um, he does my, like he's working on my commercial and he's working on my like food videos and stuff. So I was talking to him and I was like, well, once this really takes off, I like to hire you, you know, to be like my film side. We could really just work together and he could do, you know, fitness videos. He, he basically runs my content part. So that's all him. And I just tell him what I want to do and he makes it come to life. He it's lit. It's a good plan. Yeah, he lit. I like him. Great plan. <laughs> so tell the people where they can find your drink and where they can find you. Okay. so And, my and possibly book you. Right? Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm on Chanel Anje on Facebook, C H A N E L L, and then E N J E. Um, my fitness page is Coco Fitness, and my Instagram is Coco Chanel. And the drink, um, right now I still have the one on my main page that's just going around for free. But as far as the fine apple, I think right now you're gonna have to catch me as I'm selling it. I come here every now and then and I'll sell it. So I just make posts about it whenever I come to Shreveport to sell it. If y'all wanna lose weight, you better hit her up. Come She's on. She's a living witness, 30 pounds down. Come on, 30, 30 pounds 30 down. 30 pounds plus down. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you, so come on. This been cool. Yeah. Man, I enjoy you coming on here. Thank you. So the next time you come, you probably have one of those blue checks by your name. Oh, I yeah. hope so. That'd be so <laughs> great. <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm we'll going to go see. ahead and call that in your future. Yes, go ahead and call it. I believe in manifestations and affirmations all day. So absolutely. All right. And there it is. Thank you. <laughs>